If you've come to this video expecting porn, you're not going to get it. I'm sorry. If you're expecting the uncensored version of the Naked Girl song, Finger, I can't find it. Hey everybody, The Naked Girls is a K-pop group that were here and they were gone. And basically didn't leave much of an impact. Just a few people going, okay. So I discovered them while watching a video about a sexy K-pop group that went too far on a wonderful fellow YouTubers channel I highly recommend, which I've recommended before actually because I just, I get a lot of stuff from her. It's Ploopy678. She does documentaries. She does wonderful documentaries about different K-pop groups. And out of curiosity, she did one on this group that pushed the button. You can find the link below. I watched it and, uh, sorry, there's hair, hair, hair all over the place. Anyways, <laughs> I watched it and... I was like, oh my god, oh my god. So anyways, the Naked Girls, just to summarize, were three girls that had a gig with Naked News, which you may know, the TV series with guys and the girls stripped their clothes off while giving the news. They were supposed to be hosts in South Korea. It was a big deal, but it was kind of a scam. The whole office emptied out. They didn't get paid, and nothing ever happened, and, and they left embarrassed. So three of the girls decided to form a K-pop group because they realized that for K-pop, you really just need a song and some dance moves, and they don't even be that good of dance moves. And sex sells, and there's a lot of sex in K-pop, so they created the Naked Girls. They had one song, or maybe a couple songs. One of them is called Finger. And if you don't know what that means, I'm not going to explain it to you. But, um, yes, I'm just not going to. And um, they vanished. And for good reason. They had no talent. They had nothing. Uh, they basically were a bad striptease act. Um, the song that they got someone else wrote and whatever they just they just bought it outright i don't know if they re-recorded in their voices but i know that there is a live video of them lip syncing to the song and that's what we're going to watch here they did this showcase performance where they did some lip syncing and some dancing and then a big reveal i'm just going to say it for me this is the epitome of where music is just like it's not an art form anymore you don't need to know anything about it. You don't need to dance. You, don't need to, you just need to be able to make noises and shake your ass if you're a woman. And this is where just, this is why a lot of people think that maybe musicians aren't great artists. Or actually, any, any, in any art, this is a problem. You know, anyone can write a book, even if really, you really can't, if it takes skill and practicing. People say there, anyone can paint a picture. But no, the great artists, they learn, they work their trades. So this is like the epitome of bad music. And where sex is just done badly. And I talk about that a lot on this channel. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to watch this. Was because I talk about how sex can be just stupid. It just is. You're just having girls shake their ass. Because you got nothing to offer. No good music. No nothing. But um, sometimes you can use it really creatively. Cre cre creatively. Creatively. Sorry. Brown eyed girls come to mind. They use it creatively. So here we go. Let's watch the Naked Girls showcase performance together. 안녕하세요. So this is why I don't like live performances because you can't see anything with the flashing lights. This is the worst dancing I've ever seen. They're not even trying. Does it look like they're not wearing pants or anything under... I know they are, it's just bad camera work. Wow. They're not even... She's not even trying to dance. That poor guy. No wonder he wants his face covered. This isn't... This is even sexy, it's so bad. Oh yeah, she, they're wearing bikinis. Wow, that's the best you can do, is to stroke her? 
Oh my god. That's a lot of this, this choreographer isn't even trying. Like, you could have the guys do some really great moves and the girls just sort of stand there, but... This is... Oh, wow, she takes off her outfit and she crawls on the ground. Oh my god. Oh, it skips around. So this is... Dude, the guys are out sexying the girls. Oh my god, this is so bad. This is the most... Oh my god, this is so bad. You just stood there for like five seconds. Nope. And the song is... Wow. The, the moves are sloppy. There's... She just humped the audience. Oh my god. This is, this is so bad. You know, if it was me, I... Oh, there's the famous wardrobe malfunction. If it was me, I'd want to put my best out there. Okay, maybe I'm not a great dancer, but there's things you can do. There are singers who don't really dance well, and they have others who dance better. This isn't even trying. This is like, we're the naked girls. We're going to dance in the least seductive dance ever. This is not even seductive. When you don't know what you're doing, you have no confidence in your dance, and thus you can't exude sexuality. Think about someone like Gain and... Oh, and now they're even more naked. You know, Paradise and some of the other songs, she has so much confidence that she doesn't have to do much. Just a very simple move, and it exudes sexiness. And now they're talking. Oh my god, how embarrassing would that be? And, and I know there was talk about them wanting to perform with like Lady Gaga or something. I mean, just delusional. You know, if I had no talent, no skill, no nothing, I would actually try to go out there with as good of a show as I could do. I'd hire the best people, I'd do the best stuff, but these girls are not even... And she's she's out of breath for that dancing? Wow, that was horrible. So here's your lesson. And I don't have a clue what she's saying, so I'm talking over her, I don't give a shit. If you're going to go out there and you know you don't have any skills or anything, Pull people in who do. Pull people in who can do stuff that makes you look better. They're not showing it, are they? So there's a famous part. Yep, it got cut off. My apologies to all of you. So if you know the story of this, what happened at one point, there was mal wardrobe malfunctions uh, on all three of them multiple times. And so they all stand there and take off their tops. Because, of course, wardrobe malfunction. What do you do? You strip naked. The girls wouldn't be able to top their previous scandals until this happened. <laughs> on stage naked for over three minutes. And it wasn't even like they were dancing or singing. It's like really bad. So basically, here we are. This is our act. This is it. Like a bad strip show. Even strippers dance. Wow. Anyways, that was worse than I thought. I knew it's going to be bad, but... You know, I just... I know people who do this. They want to put stuff out there, but it's like... They don't... Do they realize how bad it is? I have a friend who wrote a wanted to start a book blog but he goes oh i'm gonna like have a subscription service and you subscribe to the blog and then i'm gonna publish it as a book and he's telling me all this stuff i'm gonna do i'm like what about the blog he goes oh yeah well I, i'm not really thinking too much about the blog itself like the posts i'm writing well dude that's why they're gonna come to you you've you've mixed your things up i have a f another friend who does uh music uh, sorry uh movie blogging so he posts once a year or maybe once every other year and he wonders why no one reads the blog i'm like because you're not putting your best out there you're not trying you're not really trying you think if you do lackluster people will show up if you think you put one post up every other year people will come to your blog no i have a blog i have over 700 reviews on it of music i post every monday 
and I work on these blogs for a while, and every Monday, though, you'll find something. Um, so it's like you can't, I just don't, I, yeah, what, I, these poor girls, because they, I don't know, I guess when, when your talent was going to be on Naked News, then you, I mean, what, what are you selling? You, or you're basically telling the world you have no skills, right? I got a backup. I have a ex. I have two relatives who were strippers. Uh, not strippers. Uh, I guess strippers, striptease dancers. I have another relative that managed a strip club. I got no problem with stripping. I really don't. I've told directors for shows I do. I'll do whatever you want. I'll take off my clothes. I don't care if it needs it. I don't have a problem with strippers. I don't have a problem with prostitutes. I think it should be legalized. This has nothing to do with that. It's not, I'm not a prude. I don't give a shit. Uh, porn, I don't have a problem with that. I do not like underage porn, but that's that's a, another story. I'm just thinking that if you're presenting yourself and you want to be successful and you want people to notice you, put your best out there, not your worst. Or at least, like, watch your videos and see what you can do and see how you can improve. The videos do here. When I first started this channel, I have to say I'm a little embarrassed by some of those. I didn't have lights. I didn't have a thing to hold my camera the views are off i didn't edit them properly and i stopped and i studied and i bought equipment and uh you know i tried to improve and and you know you, i've published books my first book wasn't good so i tried to improve these girls it's like they come out the door almost not caring could they have done better yeah but i think they need to come out the door with something better anyways this video wasn't about the naked girls and they obviously didn't show you any naked girls if you do want to look at naked girls, um, red tube is free, you porn is free, X tube is free, or I don't know if they all still exist, but just why are you on my channel? I'm not a girl and I'm not naked. I will confess that while looking for this video, I did discover that you can find nudity on YouTube, and I didn't think you could, but but you can. So. Uh, Ah, uh, yes. Anyways, if nothing else, please check out Poopy 678's channel. She does awesome, awesome documentaries on so many cool things just all over the board. And, and, and she's just not afraid to dig into stuff and, and really research stuff. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. Let's get naked. I mean, let, let's, let's watch K-pop.